Hi, this is Chris Zidko with eComfort. I'm one of the product experts here. And today I'm going to go over drain pan heaters. When you're in a cold climate, drain pan heaters are required for outdoor condensers, especially if you're going below 32 degrees. Today I'm going to pick this LMU 36CHB. If you ever have any questions about drain pan heaters or if the unit does or does not come with one, always feel free to submit a Q&A or call in at any time. We're definitely here for you. Go ahead and click on accessories, scroll down, and you're going to see a drain pan heater listed under the accessories. If you don't see a drain pan heater listed under the accessories, more than likely, it's either not going to work in colder climate, or it's going to have a certain range, or it already comes pre-built with the drain pan heater. So another one that I always like to bring up is the HYV1 systems by LG. All of these are going to come pre-built with the drain pan heater already installed. Now I know that, but not everybody else knows that. So this unit can actually go down to minus 13 degrees without any additional requirements outside of that drain pan heater that's already been pre-installed. If you go with any of the other standard units, a drain pan heater may be required to go down to minus 13 or below that or otherwise these units will shut off between 14 and 5 degrees depending on which unit you pick. Um, with condensers such as the Mitsubishi unit, you have to be very careful. There are H2I systems, such as this condenser here, already comes pre-built with the drain pan heater in it, which allows it to go down to minus 13 degrees. If you take the exact same model number, but remove the hyperheating part. This unit only goes down to minus five degrees and also requires a drain pan heater. If you have any other questions under why you need certain installations for cold climate, Go ahead and just type in cold climate. Sorry, cold weather. Normally, many split cha challenges in frigid cold weather will come up. And right here, it's going to show you different types of installation that you can do as well to get that unit up off the ground, out of the snow, and put a nice little roof over its head. Make sure that you um, double check through the installation manual, the submittal, and meet all of the installation requirements as far as uh, the surrounding area so that you're not restricting any airflow. Thank you. If you do have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or send in a Q&A. We're definitely here to help. Have a great day.